Very soon, Bukali, uh, talking about uh, inspiration, aspiration, and dreams and dedication of making, the, making sure that 2022 she lowers her record further. Also, represent the country in the Olymp in the, in the the coming Olympics 2024 and 2022. Right now, she is focused on the Commonwealth and World Championships. Uh, now, on to the next story. Most of the time, or many a times, we see Formula One stars and we see Safari Rally stars and WRC stars here around and doing their thing. But most young people who have been doing GP cutting for the longest time are now determined to ensure that they represent the country in that highest level. We remember about, we talk about Kangede who represented the country uh, in the F F F3. Now we have other stars who are coming up and hoping that one day they will represent the country in the Formula One. Formula One, not F2, not F3, Formula One. Now listening to these uh, dreams of these young yeah, kids who are doing something right here in Nairobi to ensure that they get that fit. My name is Monica Tunisha Kasane. Uh, I like coming here because it's fun, it gives me adrenaline. Yeah, and I like watching action movies so it gives me a taste of what they feel when they drive. My name is Joyce uh, Kasane. Uh, I brought my children here uh, being a Sunday afternoon uh, for them to, to enjoy and uh, to see if this is something they would want to keep on doing. My name is Imani, Imani Shiloh and it's my first time here, very first time I've never come here before but I've heard about it and I really, I really, I really wanted to feel the adrenaline. So now that I've experienced it, um, I see that it would be a nice experience for me and a good opportunity if I something to to do maybe as a hobby or yeah for fun. My name is Jesse Boynet. I'm in Moy Educational Center Form 2 and I like GP cutting because I like cars a lot and also from GP cutting I can do the WRC World Rally and GP cutting can help me go there and even race for Team Kenya in other places. I'm, I'm really happy because I thought that it will never come back so it, I now have a chance to maybe race in the WRC and even win a championship, you never know. My name is Jude Boynet. Uh, I come here every weekend because I feel like I can impress my family by racing because like my whole family, um, there is no racer, so I can be the first one in my family. I really like Formula One. It's like I watch it every day. I've never looked into Formula One, but I've watched it like twice. I think it's exciting, but it's mostly kind of it's scary, kind of. My daughter loves uh, trying new things. Uh, she's only 12, uh, and I would uh, want to nurture her. Uh, is it talent? Whatever she chooses to do. So if she's interested in uh, the GP cutting, then this is something I'm willing to be bringing her to do. It says that they, they said it from a small age going up, leading up to now their victories and stuff. It's, it looks interesting. I would like to try. Considering I have all the features, I'm very competitive. I just see myself being in that position. If I was given the chance, yes, if I, I'd take the chance, I wouldn't even make an excuse because I just see that opportunity would be nice. Uh, Hamilton is my inspiration because the courage that he has, it's like powerful. So uh, I want to be like him. I'll try my best. It's not that easy to rest in the Formula One. You know, there are only 10 participants and they are very hard spots to get into. But I'll try my best and I also know I can be the first Kenya to race in the Formula One. It's a great beginning. Uh, uh, everybody begins somewhere. Being kids, you start from when you're young. So I would encourage all parents like, to, to nurture their kids' parents, uh, I mean, uh, talent. Whatever the child is interested in, uh, don't say, like, I, I don't want to go and spend time there. It's always good to spend time with your kids and to nurture what they, 